The gifts are all yours at JCPenney's Happy Birthday Sale. Celebrate with 30% off select Levi's for the fam. Plus, save up to 50% during our biggest home sale of the season. Oh, and this Saturday only, the first 120 customers in store get a coupon for $10 off a $10 purchase. Shopping is back. JCPenney. Levi's offer ends 417. Additional offers and coupons do not apply. Home offer ends 49. Coupon giveaway in store only. Exclusions apply. Valid 49. Must be 18 or older. See store or jcp.com for details. Father of mine, tell me where Dear Meathead, jmsynthetics.com. Let's bring in my dad. Oh, you, Johnny on a spot. Hi, Dad. Good morning. Good morning, son. How are you? Never better. You sound great as, as always. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. How is that beautiful family of yours? Everybody's great. Everybody's doing awesome. Uh, we're in a we're in a great spot. Everybody's happy. Um, yeah, we're we're doing fine. Thank you. How how about you and and Joanne? We're doing well. We're just uh, hanging in there. You know, the weather is not very pleasant today. Today it's cloudy and uh, rain is predicted for probably all of the day. You you sound like a weatherman. Well, yeah, all I do is sit in here and look outside. <laughs> I can tell what's going on. <laughs> hey, uh, so, so speaking of uh, getting bored and having nothing to do, uh, someone asked me asked me to ask you on Dear Meathead how to explain the game backgammon. This is hard to explain. I got a show. Oh, okay. Oh, what do they want to know? I, I, you know. Well, uh, what, what, what is the object of that game? But the object is that the tiny little round things that you've got, that you take all of that out of the game. Right. That means you're winning. And whoever takes it all out and, uh, yeah. it is, it's a, it's a board has got it's two boards, like right? you got to go all yeah. the way around the board from one uh, end to the other end. And then when all of them got in there, you took them all out of the game. You're the winner. Now, I remember I didn't uh, – I never saw a backgammon game in my life until after you and mom split up, and then you had one. And I was like, what the hell is this? Did you pick that up after, or did you know how to play when you lived at my house? Honey, I really don't remember that as to how I picked up on it, but I didn't know how to play it. Because mom would stomp around the house – and she would be like, oh, yeah, because, you know, she was always mad. God rest her soul. And she would say, oh, yeah, your father, he's listening to Bob Seger. He's wearing gold chains, and he's playing backgammon. Well, backgammon, I know backgammon way before all of oh, that. Because I was under the impression that that's what people who get divorced play. <laughs> Cool. That's what I thought. I thought that mom was like, I thought that that was like a reason, uh, one of the reasons that she was mad at you. And I was like, and I, I didn't understand. I was only eight years old, you know? Backgammon is an awful good uh, uh, game for a brain, you know? You know, you can play that online. I mean, if you wanted to play that with somebody, we could uh, set your computer up to do that. Well, I, I play with uh, Elizabeth. Elizabeth knows how to play it. Okay, yeah, it's great. I love that game. I don't think I've ever had a bad game of backgammon. It's one of my favorite things. No, it's really cool. I'm super aggressive. I'm always uh, landing on people and putting them on the bar. Yeah. That's what you got to do. No mercy. No. <laughs> no, it's a really cool game. That's, that's a whole country game. Like, we, I, when I was back in Iran. Yeah. Uh, we used to play over there. Uh huh. Uh huh. Of course, we didn't have the game. I don't know how we got all of it because uh, those things cost a lot of money. Yep, yep, yep. And we know that you didn't have a whole lot. I mean, you used no, to no, no, you no, used no, to no. sleep on the ground, and you had a, you had a a hole to cook bread. Oh my God! Yes, but I want to tell you something. When I was age, this this is something in my mind. Yeah. When I was age twelve. Uh huh. I created electric doorbell. Oh, I remember. You told us that. that you, the, yeah. You're the inventor of the I mean, doorbell. I couldn't believe I did that. Yeah. and uh, But, you know, you missed out because you should have had a, you should have taken that to the U.S. and told us. 
Yeah. I'm pretty sure really? we I'm pretty sure we had doorbells back then. I think maybe you invented it in Iran. I don't know how it happened, but I did learn how to do that. Uh, there you go, oh. ladies and gentlemen, the uh, long lost inventor of the Iranian doorbell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you know, oh, my history of uh, my childhood is so great. I live right across from a police department. I know. Yeah, you like, talk about and, how you, uh, you like made friends with those guys. Every one of them. I mean, we knew each other. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, Dad. Stacy writes this. She says last week. Uh, first of all, she says, hello, Ruben, you and Joanne are my uh, one of my favorite things about Eric's show, and I look forward to hearing your words of ris- wisdom every week, and I'm hoping you can help me. That's sweet of you. Thank you very much. I hope I can. Okay. So she says that, and uh, then she says, last week I found out my boyfriend Jason, who identifies, who is a heterosexual man, is in love with another man named Derek. As far as I know, Derek is also a heterosexual man. Derek has a wife and kids. My boyfriend has made comments about being in love with Derek, but I thought he was joking and never took it seriously. But last week, he professed his love in a very public way. The worst part is, I introduced him to Derek. I don't know what to do, Meathead. Please help. Sign Stacy. Stacy, let's get real about this. This is a serious situation. I mean, if it's something yeah, you can't be spending life with that, that man. Yeah. I mean, if he, if you're. You if, just cannot. If your boyfriend is in love with a man, that's, that's oh weird. My God. That's that, that. No. Just say thank you for the good times or bad times. See you around. Goodbye. So you're I'm saying sorry, I'm sorry to tell you that that's yeah. a very disappointing type of thing. But uh, a common sense is common sense. Yeah, you're so you're saying she should end the relationship. End the relationship. That's going to be nothing but yeah. heartache. Yeah, because you know who knows what's going to happen. Oh, my God. Can you imagine having babies and kids like that? And the guy with a father that uh, is a heterosexual? Right. Yeah, I think he means that the two heterosexuals will become homosexual. Why? Sure. If you're a heterosexual and you have a, some kind of a desire, you might as well be uh, the you, other one. Yeah, you might as well go homo. Yeah. And And you're saying no homo is what you're saying. No, tell them thanks for the good times, but goodbye. Right on. I got you. Okay. I hear you. All right. And, and it's probably hard to take, but uh, that's the way it is. That's nothing but heartache. Excellent. All right. I, I'm sure she'll take that to heart. Jimmy has a question. He says, dear meathead, I am 56 years old and I've been an only child my whole life. And I always wanted a brother. If I get all the paper paperwork together, will you adopt me so that Eric will be my brother? Well, if that's going to be something, yeah, I would. You would do that. Okay. I would do that. He says, um, let me know ASAP because I need to borrow money. And then he wrote, thank you, dad. I will be happy to do that. Okay. Jimmy, you make that happen, and my dad will adopt you, and then we will be brothers. Okay, but, Jimmy? But Jimmy, don't come to me for money, because I don't have money. No, no. Okay, very good. Oh, I was more than happy. Uh, all right. Michael has this. He wrote, Dear Meathead, I'm very close to paying off my phone. I guess he has to pay it off a little bit each month to the phone company. Yeah, those phones are probably one of those... $150,000 phone. Oh, yeah. I, I, think, I think this is an expensive phone. He writes, my phone company said that I'm eligible to get an upgrade. Should I get the upgrade knowing I have to start my payments over? Or should I just keep what I have right now since it's working fine? I only use my phone to text people and play Wordle. So upgrading seems like a waste of money. Please help me with this phone situation. Well... You just gave yourself the answer. 
It's a waste of money to do what you're doing. Other, if you, what is a phone for? Right. Uh, years ago, tele- telephone was to call from here to there. Yeah. That you, that you can't see these people, but you can connect to them. Correct. All of a sudden, a phone has become. Oh my God! My my granddaughter's in here. They come up with a phone that yeah. weighs about. Pound and a half. Yeah, and they're just looking at it all the time, you know? Yeah, and then they do so many things to it. And you know what? Better than half of the things that you can do with it. It's never going to come to pass that's a useful thing. Yeah, just go and talk to the people. <laughs> talk Use to the, it as a telephone. Yeah, just that's it. I agree with you. Uh, so, so you're saying don't spend the extra money. No, of yeah, course, that's my opinion. Now, you're entitled to your own opinion. But... Look, all the money that you pay extra for that, start saving and putting aside. In about two months, take a look at the amount of money that you got stashed yeah. over there that you would not have had. Exactly. All right, it's no secret on this show that I am very finicky about the podcast that I listen to. I can count on one hand how many times I've listened to an entire episode of a podcast. Enter the Jordan Harbinger Show. You will binge Jordan Harbinger. See what I did there? Jordan Harbinger. J-O-R-D-A-N-H-A-R-B-I-N-G-E-R. Show. You can also get more information at jordanharbinger.com. Wow. Uh, He touches on just about everything. Serious, insightful, interview, points of view, current events, uh, mental health, becoming your best self. I know that sounds way woke, but it's true. I mean, who wouldn't want to be their best? Okay. The one that stood out to me right away, or two, I should say, were episodes 634 and 635. Joe Barone. Barone, mob guy, well, was a mob guy, and then realized, hey, I'm going to get killed. I need to turn. That's right. He became a rat working with the feds and the mob at the same time. Holy crap. Can you imagine uh, the insight that Barone provides to Jordan about living that way is incredible. Uh, That's where I started. And now I've, I've worked my way through several more of the episodes. And you must listen to the Jordan Harbinger show. Again, jordanharbinger.com. That's J-O-R-D-A-N-H-A-R-B-I-N-G-E-R. Jordanharbinger.com or download a show wherever you download podcasts. The gifts are all yours at JCPenney's Happy Birthday Sale. Celebrate with 30% off select Levi's for the fam. Plus, save up to 50% during our biggest home sale of the season. Oh, and this Saturday only, the first 120 customers in store get a coupon for $10 off a $10 purchase. Shopping is back. JCPenney. Levi's offer ends 417. Additional offers and coupons do not apply. Home offer ends 49. Coupon giveaway in store only. Exclusions apply. Valid 49. Must be 18 or older. See store or jcp.com for details. All right, Aram. uh, Hey, Aram, my man. He writes, good morning, sir. I trust the day finds you well. Thank you, likewise. He writes, I have a group of friends who tell very funny jokes to each other that make us all laugh, except one guy in the group tells everyone to shut up and only to listen to his jokes. It's hard to tell if he doesn't understand our jokes or just doesn't like to laugh. Should we even try to help this guy lighten up or just accept that laughing at other people's funny jokes is not part of his Mickey Mouse makeup? (laughs) Mickey Mouse. Well, I'll tell you what. Why, Why don't we in this world accept people the way they are. Oh, yeah. You know, some people have got attitudes of uh, adversity. Some people have got uh, attitude of kindness. Some people have got attitude of anger. There are all types of people in the world. Now, either you take that friend for what his face value is and just give him the opportunity to say his joke 
if you don't want to live uh, or laugh at this joke, don't laugh. Let him say what he says and be done with it. I mean, why is it that his joke is not going to be good for you? Someone else's is going to be good for you. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. But there are different caliber or time kind of people in this world. Everyone has got their own personalities. So some of them will suit you, some of them won't. The ones that won't, and if it's an irritant, don't be a friend. <laughs> All right. Uh, uh, hey, don't call him anymore. Don't go visit him. Don't, when he's there, don't hang around him. I think the main takeaway here is when you said there are different caliber or kind of people in this world. Yes. All right, so, man. Everyone's got their own character. All right, Dad, that uh, that all makes sense. I mean, look at me. I got character that's probably the dumbest thing in the world to oh, no. somebody else. Come on now. I, nobody thinks that, is it? No, no, really. I mean, I hey, what I believe in, you don't have to believe in that. Dad, it's my opinion. Dad, uh, Rob here writes, Dear Meathead, I know a guy who needs to use a certain type of expensive tool for his job. One of the very important tools he uses every day is broken, and the only way he can get it to work is by bashing on it. Many people have suggested that bashing on it is annoying and have even given him recommendations on where he can find a replacement. What would you tell this guy? I would say that ultimately is going to lead you the wrong way for the use of it because something of that caliber tool yeah. may eventually not suit the one, the thing that you're yeah. doing. You're going to you get gonna, rid of it. You're going to break it. The caliber of tool I needs... You don't have to break it. Throw it away or whatever. But go ahead and buy another one. Now. Yeah. It'll probably cost you... Maybe this is a very expensive tool. I don't know. Yeah, you're really into caliber today. Well, I really. But uh, one thing is, I got tools that don't work. I throw them away. Yeah. Okay. I can I I can see that. And then get a different one. Yeah. All right. That's 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 sage advice. I think I think I think this guy needs to look into that. Well yeah, the the problem is we don't want to spend extra money for a tool that you had Agreed. and it worked and all that. Now it don't work anymore. Some tool that uh gets really you if it's really use, 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 it's gonna be eventually garbage. Yeah. All right. Uh, Jason writes this. This is our last one. Jason writes, Dear Meet It, I got a friend in his early 50s, and he just found out that he might have a twin sister. They look identical. She's actually a well-known famous actress. The only problem is my friend thinks that his uh, potential twin sister is a stone-cold fox. How does he go about handling this situation? Is this a possible Mickey Mouse type of situation? I really didn't understand how uh, the, what how uh, how his question is. Well, what he's saying is he's got a friend who has a twin. He just found out he's got a twin sister. I got that. And the twin sister, uh, before he found out it was a twin sister, he was attracted to her. Oh. Yeah, and and the twin sister is also a famous actress. Wow. That's, a, that's an issue and a half. Yeah, so he's attracted to his twin sister. If it's a sister, you can't you can't do nothing. No, just, no, I just uh, is she attracted to him? Uh I, I I doubt that she even knows that he's alive. No, you can't do nothing with that. If if, if well, he's got a. Has he really, for a fact, found out that this is a twin sister? Uh, I, I think he's just speculating right now because she looks just like him. I don't think you ought to go along that somebody looks like me is going to be possibly my brother. Yeah, I, I think you got to. think you got to. You got to just it, it, chalk it up to chance. It just ha- it just happens to work out that way. I got a stupid remark to make. Ask your doctor. Doctor, what do you think of this? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe get like a DNA test. I guess. Yeah, you can do that. You I can do that. Yeah, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't think that's a bad idea because the actress isn't going to go for it. She's not going to say, I'm, no, I'm not going to take a DNA test just because you look like me. 
Well, yeah, that's then. Then you got a problem. This whole thing is stupid, is what it is. It, it is. It, it's. Hey, it, that you know, it's possible that uh, somebody out there, a buddy of yours, you know, oh hey, you look like Johnny. Are you identical like twin, but they're not twins or nothing. Right. Right. Um. All right. Hey, you know what? I think I got all my questions asked, Dad. For once. All right. Hey, I'm sorry because I was enjoying this. No, you did awesome. So, what you did awesome. What what are your plans for the rest of the day, Dad? Just kind of lay low, maybe. I'll tell you what. It's really this is a nasty type of thing that's happening to me. I am homebound almost like all day. To go grocery shopping. Occasionally, yeah. we get in a car and go grocery shopping. Yeah, well, why, why don't you guys go to the casino or something? No, 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 no. I would love to do that, but I don't want to do that. Hey, there's a, there's a fourth shot available. Are you aware of that? A what? Uh, there's, a, there's, uh, there's, there's a fourth COVID shot that they want you to get. Oh, yeah, I hear that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you going to do that? I probably will. Yeah, I actually had a friend Joanne of mine. Joanne has a doubt, but I, I would. Yeah, Joanne's not sure about it, huh? No, yeah, yeah, but she's always good. She's good I'm gonna, at numbers. I'm gonna go get it. I'm gonna go get it. I know that. Uh, I just, I'm gonna get it. I just found out that it's uh, really out there, and it uh, it's gonna go. My buddy Jeremy just got it done. It can't hurt. No, it can't. It can't. Though some people think that it can. It can hurt. Well, you know how it is. Some of these wackos are sitting there saying that it'll make you sick, and it'll 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 make you, and you'll die. You know, side effects, things like that. Well, all of the first shots that we got, we had no issue of any kind. Right. Except a little soreness. Right, it's fine. Uh, for the six hours or something. Vaccine is safe. Get get the yeah. vaccine. Uh, it, and besides, a fifth of scotch would have taken away the pain. Yeah. The pain. All right. Hey, I love you guys. I love you too, honey. You, honey. Say hello to family and, uh, well, normally, uh, I'll talk to you next week. Abnormally, anytime. Yeah, wh- what? What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> I said, I'll talk to you later. Yeah, I'll honey. talk to you later, too. <laughs> okay, normally, abnormally, we'll, we'll we'll talk at some point. Yes. Okay, I love you. Love you, too, honey. Okay. Goodbye, audience. Goodbye. See ya. And the cats in the cradle and the suit. The gifts are all yours at JCPenney's Happy Birthday Sale. Celebrate with 30% off select Levi's for the fam. Plus, save up to 50% during our biggest home sale of the season. Oh, and this Saturday only, the first 120 customers in-store get a coupon for $10 off a $10 purchase. Shopping is back. JCPenney. Levi's offer ends 417. Additional offers and coupons do not apply. Home offer ends 49. Coupon giveaway in-store only. Exclusions apply. Valid 49. Must be 18 or older. See store or jcp.com for details.